Corton Bowl has been fantastic for this year. He's won uh, three novice hurdles, which takes a bit of doing. Um, he's, I think he's got a rating of about a 135, and he finished a really good second at Stratford one day as well. Uh, got beaten in, his, in, a, in a bumper first time out for him. I was raging with Paddy, but actually it turned out it was Laura Morgan's horse turned out to be very good. It's won its next two bumpers, so um, I'll probably owe, owe Paddy an apology for that one. Um, but um, yeah, so he, he, he's been fantastic. I mean, I wouldn't want very soft ground for him. Um, if it did, he, he might wait till the following week and go to Kempton the following week. Uh, we saw Aston in school this morning. I'm really happy with him. Um, uh, we took him away for a gallop uh, yesterday. He galloped really well, so... Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't be happy with him. The plan was always to go chasing last year with him. And we always thought that, um, that, that he might be, make a better, better chaser than hurdler. He picked up a niggle last year. He, he, um, he had a, a bang on his splint bone behind and um, he had to have some time off. So by the time he came back, it was, you know, we, just, it was, we thought we'd stick to hurdles. Um, he ran an absolute cracking race in a 100 grand handicap at Sandown. Just got done by a very well handicapped horse, Christian Williams. Um, He's obviously a much shrewder man than I am, and um, it was a great. I say it was a great run, and we were delighted delighted with him. So um, stairs didn't really happen for him. Um, made a mistake at the top of the hill, but other than that, um, yeah, look, he, he was brilliant for his last year, and then we we're hoping hoping for a good run. Yeah, you know, you always like to see him do it on the track, but um, yeah, he, he's been he's been in good form at home, and he's had no hiccups, and you know. I just hope, like I say, we've, we've done plenty of work with him. Um, I was talking to someone the other day and they, like, they've had a bit longer out. So um, one or two have needed their first run, like uh, Golden Taipan the other day. So look, hopefully he's fit enough to do himself justice. He loves the ground, good to soft, soft. Probably doesn't want heavy ground, but um, he certainly doesn't want, on, he doesn't want it on the quick side of good either. But good to soft, soft to be absolutely ideal for him. Paint the Dream ran absolutely brilliant last year at Sandown and Cheltenham. Um, can't remember the name of the races, um, but uh, yeah, he, he was very good. Uh, again, went back to the festival. Connor Brace, who normally rides him, couldn't ride him, and so not that um, Jack Tudor did that wrong with him, um, but he, he just didn't finish the season off like we'd hoped. But he's been in great form. I'm really happy with him. Um, he's done lots of work. Uh, David Brace, who, who's Connor's granddad, owns him uh, with, with Bob, and they, um, yeah, so we're very happy with him. He's, he's done plenty of work and, and yeah, he's, he's been jumping well and stuff, so looking forward to him. I think he'd go on any ground. I didn't think he wanted soft ground to be running with Sandown last year. And I say he was beaten, he was beaten half a length at Sandown. Um, so I think he will, he's very versatile, so the ground will not be a bother for him. Billy the Squid's been a little bit frustrated, but at the same time, he's been very good. Apart from having an amazing name, he's got a great following on social media, thanks to, to Simon. Um, yeah, he, he's been really good in the fact that um, his flat rating was, was 47 or something, but he's gone way past that. He's beaten horses over hurdles that were way, rated way higher than him. So we're, we're, we're delighted with, with, with him. He, he's, he's consistently placed, um, if not a little bit frustrating. But I'm hoping that Chepstow, um, he's got his own way of things, but I'm hoping Chepstow with a long straight and a better race that will bring the best out of him. Um, look, we might be shooting the stars. He's had a long season as well between flat and coming to us because he's run a few times for us. So I'm hoping that, um, but I'm hoping that the Chepstow will, will bring the best out of him. City Derby is a lovely horse that was almost, was ready to run in the in the spring last year, but obviously locked down Kem, um, so we didn't get a chance to run him. Look, in hindsight, as with one or two others, it was probably a blessing in disguise because he went away, had a great summer with Paddy Brennan, who who Paddy pre-trained him and and, uh, and got him going for us again this year, uh, and he's come back a bigger, stronger horse. We we really like him. Um, I was, like I said, Paddy done all the pre-training, so we were going to try and maybe hopefully wait and. Uh, get Paddy on him, but Paddy's banned for next week, so um, there was no bumper around that would suit. So we're going to we're going to take our chance there. It's, it's a bumper. I still ran in it last year, two years, th two or three years ago, and Connor rode him, uh, finished second. Um, it's a it's a bumper we've had a bit of luck in. So um, hopefully that City Derby can go and run well. You know, he's never been on the track, but um, hopefully he'll he'll do well for himself.